Hello scientists, welcome to Java Med. Remember we have drawn that chloroplast in Adobe Illustrator and today I will show you how to draw that in PowerPoint. I know a lot of you use PowerPoint to draw your graphic abstract because you might not have Adobe Illustrator subscription at your institute and uh, so uh, I'm a big advocate for using PowerPoint and Inkscape, uh, these kind of freeware, freeware to uh, make graphic abstract and you can definitely make professional ones with these. Uh, so here I'm going to show you how to draw the uh, same professional level of the chloroplast illustration in PowerPoint. So let's get into it. I'll be drawing this schematic uh, chloroplast and uh, you, if you have noticed I have the color code over here. So I put the color here uh, because I noticed the color in a PowerPoint is uh, a little bit tacky. So I picked these color from the uh, previous uh, illustration I made for the chloroplast from Adobe Illustrator. It is a way to tell computer which RGB color that you, you are using. And if you want to know what RGB color is, you can check this video here. Uh, so uh, later I will show you how to use these code. Uh, but first, let's start drawing the shape. So let's go to the shapes and get, grab our ellipse tool and just draw an ellipse. I will first make a copy of it. Uh, and then we will uh, make the envelope. So uh, that's... Uh, change the color of the envelope uh, so let's go to shape format and uh, so I already have the colors over here but I still want to show you how to uh, apply them so you go to the more fill colors you'll have this color window shows up and then you have these tabs then go to this tab uh, which you'll be able to uh, adjust your color uh, accord according to the RGB sliders so uh, select this and then, and here you see the hex color code, and then we will type in the hex color. So here you'll see the hex color for the grass green, and uh, that is D1, E8, B2. Uh, uh, caps, no caps is fine for, for the letters, and then when you press OK, then the color will be changed into the color that the code represents. So, and then I will uh, change the stroke color to the gray that we use in Graphic Abstract. Um, and then uh, we will need to make the uh, stroma and we will need to apply a radio gradient to it. So let's go to the shape fill and gradient and uh, here, click on the more gradients, select gradient fill, and uh, the, here will be an automatic gradient that uh, is not uh, the one that we want. Uh, what we want is a uh, radio gradient. So let's change it here at the type, the radio, and then direction, uh, ready to radiate from the center, okay. And we only need two of the color box on the slider, on the gradient slider. So um, we'll uh, remove them by uh, minusing the gradient stops. And then uh, here, select this uh, uh, gradient stop and then change the color into the sea green, the light sea green that we use and so, oh, okay. It's nice that it labels the color for me. <laughs> That's so great. I'll just select this one. It is quite light uh, in PowerPoint. I will, then I'll use this one instead. Good, and I'll move it in and then make it smaller to fit it. For PowerPoint, uh, they don't have this same kind of uh, offset path function like in Adobe Illustrator. So you can offset it by yourself uh, manually. That's in this, at the center and we'll give the stroma an outline that is also green that we're using right now. Uh, so let's open the line tab, solid, solid line, and then come here to click on this color. So the gradient is a little bit dispersed. And so in PowerPoint, if you want the gradient to be very centered uh, and then you need to move this gradient to a little just a little bit to the right i don't know why it is set this way in part point um but um once you know it then you you need to remember that 
uh, you need to move it a little bit so it, it can central it can be more focused okay and uh, now we can create the thylakoid so let's uh, come here to grab our rounded rectangle tool and then draw the rectangle uh, it is not exactly uh, very rounded so that's adjusted uh, by pulling this uh, yellow square then you can have it very rounded and I'll make it uh, flatter and smaller like that and I'll fill in the color that uh, we were using this one and for the outline okay and I'll move it in then we can start to stack it up uh, I'll speed up this part Yeah, I hope this can show you that you don't need very fancy softwares to draw a very uh, professional graphical abstract uh, to draw it in the style that you see on Nature Review. You really only need to be resourceful with the tools that you already have. To subscribe to Drawbound Mat if you'd like to know more of these tips and tricks of drawing professional graphical abstract and uh, share it with your colleagues or friends uh, if this can help them with your, their research. I wish you a happy Drawbound Mat and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos.